All right, everybody. So here's what we're talking about today. Um, there was this article in the New York Times a couple years ago that said um, the average length of games in the World Series is un it's unusually common that it actually reaches seven innings. It's un unusually common that it is seven innings. Uh, so we see that happening. So here's what I went and did. I went and grabbed some of the values from some of the past World Series. Uh, these are all the World Series up to this point that we have. And we can see the, the what we have here is X is the number of innings that each game lasted. Here's the frequency and the probability with which it occurred. And if you notice, this it, um, makes up all of the games that we've had. You know, so all of the total World Series. So what we want to find is we want to find what is the mean of this. Well, what this is called is a probability distribution. We have all the values and all the probabilities that match up with it. So now we're looking at, um, instead of looking at the probability of each event, we're saying, OK, what's the probability that we, it takes four games? The probability it takes five games? The probability it takes six games? We can see the probabilities that match up. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to try to find the mean of this, or what we call the expected values. How many innings would we expect a World Series game to go? Well, you guys all know how to do the mean. Add up all these values and divide by the total. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. And so if I do all the math here, so to find the mean, and this is the population, so I'm going to use my parameter of mu. I'm going to add all the fours together. And if you look at it, I have 12 fours, so I'd be 4 plus... Okay, so we'd have 12 fours, and then I'd have 12 fives. Five. We got 12 fives. I've got 14 sixes, and then I'd have 27 sevens. Oh. All right, so we'd have all those. Take those, add them all up together, and in the end, I would divide by 65, the total number of games that I have. So if I do all this, I'd come up with a value that gives me exactly 5.86 innings. So here's what that tells us. That tells us that in the long run, we expect a World Series game to last 5.86 innings. So that might be a, a good way if you're uh, trying to develop commercials. You have commercials, you might want to say, okay, seems quite risky to last seven games. We see on average it's going to be 5.86. Now, is any World Series going to take that long? And the answer is no. We can't have point this is in innings, this is games. So we can't have 5.86 games, that's not possible to have, but we're talking the long run here in probability that we have. Okay, so how can we boil this down a little bit more? Because they're not always going to give us this frequency. So let's actually take a look at this. Notice this mu of x would actually equal, if you think about how many fours, four, uh, four game series that I had, I actually had 12 of those. So it's like 12 times 4 plus I had 12 five games. Plus I had 14, six games. And plus I had 27, seven, okay, series games. Okay, divide this all by 65. Okay, this is, this is essentially what we did. Now let's just take this one step further. Watch what would happen if I use my distributive property here to get this. So the mean of x is actually equal to, so notice it's actually 12 over 65 times four plus 12 over 65 times 5, plus 14 over 65 times 6, plus 27 over 65 times 7. And so if you notice this, I can even take this one step further. Take a look what this is coming out to be. So this is the probability times the number of, uh, number of games, so less 0.185 times 4, plus 0.185 times 5, plus 0.214 times 6 plus 0.415 times 7. So notice I just manipulated that a little bit. But now we're starting to get to something that we have. So what we can find is the mean of this, or what we call our expected value. You see it written two ways. The expected value, or the mean of this distribution of x, is equal to, well, if I look at it, it's the summation, adding everything together, of each of these values of x times the probability that it happens. x times the probability that we have of each of those events. And there's my first formula for finding what we call the expected value for a discrete probability distribution. It's discrete because we can count the values that we have. Okay, so there's the center, the mean, the expected value. They're all the same words that we're talking about here. So your next question might ask, how do I find the standard deviation of this distribution? 
Okay, so let's think about what standard deviation is. Typical distance of value falls from a mean. All right, but let's go through the same reasoning like before. I have 12 fours, I have 12 fives. So I need to bring that part back into it. So what we're actually gonna see is gonna happen here with a standard deviation. So the standard deviation of x, again, notice I'm using sigma because this is the population of all the possible world series. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take all these same values Remember how we find standard deviation? We take each value of x, we subtract the mean, we square it, and we add them all together and we divide by n minus 1. Now here's where it's going to change a little bit. Instead of doing that, now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by the probability that it happens and take the square root of that. Okay? So let's go ahead and do this and see how this works out. Okay, so my first value is 4. Okay, so I'm going to do 4 minus the mean, which was uh, 5.86, squared times the probability that would happen, 0.185. Okay, plus the next one, 5 minus 5.86 squared times 0.185, plus the next one, 6 minus 5.86 squared times 0.214. And then the last one, 7 minus 5.86 squared times 0.415. Take and add all these up, and then I square root them back at the end, and my standard deviation comes out to give me 1.15. All right, so we've got the center. On average, a series will last 5.86 games, and then we see the variation from game to, from series, World Series to World Series, of about 1.15 games. That's the typical amount of variation that we'd see uh, in these World Series with a number of games. And there we have it. We have this, the center and the spread using our probability distributions and using our formulas that we have right there. Now, a nice thing to know, these formulas are on your formula sheet. No, nope, not this one, but this one and this one are on your formula sheet. So again, you don't even have to memorize them. You just have to understand that it's a discrete distribution and part of the reasoning as to where that comes from. All right, thanks.